concerns about the new school year from parents, educators, school district leaders, everyone is trying to figure out what is coming our way. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to figure out this whole year, right? Uh, this morning, though, we're going to take a closer look at how students are actually feeling in all of this. Teenagers especially are faced with even more stress over the uncertainty. That's what Laura Frevoletti, senior program officer with the Allstate Foundation, took a closer look at in a new study. She joins us live this morning. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank you for, for having me. Yeah, thanks for being with us. So what were some of the findings when it comes to worries over COVID-19? Well, we found that 8 and 10 youth are very worried about the global pandemic, the financial crisis, and civil unrest that we're having. But more surprising is that youth are more worried about their mental health than their physical health. And if there's any good news in this, we have tools and resources to help them cope with these. Yeah, let's talk about those a little bit because, you know, teenagers are uh, tough to talk to on a good day, right? So <laughs> what, are, what are some of the things that parents can do to kind of get into some of these topics with their teenagers? I know we're looking at some of the results of the study here on screen, um, mental and, and physical health being really big there and, and worries over COVID-19. Uh, how do parents have these conversations with their kids? Well, a couple quick tips for parents in talking with their kids. First is listen more than you talk. Be sure to ask more questions um, and listen to their responses and then hand over the reins so that they can respond. Um, but to learn more about this, we have several tools from several of our partners. And one of the tools is a mindfulness app. Teaching your children how to stay in the presence will help them reduce their stress and their anxiety. And Inner Explore makes available a audio guided mindfulness app. And there are different age guided practices for youth from kindergarten through 12th grade. Hmm. Is, that, is that like a, a meditation type of app or what, what does it, that mean? Yes, it is like a meditation app. And schools have been using these for years in a classroom Using this app, which is just five to 10 minutes on a daily basis, reduces stress by 43% in the classroom. Wow. And there's, yes, there's other resources as well. One of the best ways kids can start to explore their feelings and emotions and articulate those is through a private journal, which helps them learn how to express their emotions and work through them. So another great way to read reduce stress and that also is available free from one of our partners facing history and ourselves hmm. oh, that's yeah. interesting uh, i think that some of that social emotional learning isn't always something that we focus on with teens when we think about learning you know all the things that we're trying to do in the school year uh, i'm curious what did the survey find when it came to uh, racial equity we, we've seen all of the protests around the country especially here in portland a lot of young people coming out in those. What impact is that having on this younger generation? Well, our survey indicated that 68% of teens are worried about racism. Um, but what's encouraging is that 81% of the teens in our survey believe that taking a stand is very important to them. For parents, it's really important then to be able to talk to their teens about racism, which is a difficult subject for many to talk about. Our partner, CASEL, the Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning, offers a webinar, Owning Your Power to Raise Kids Who Challenge Racism, is an excellent resource for parents and includes a recommended reading list for parents to help their teams um, figure out racism and, and to um, be able to converse about it. Okay. Well, I, it sounds like the biggest uh, takeaway here is that parents need to be having conversations with, right. with their teens at home. That's exactly right. Social emotional learning um, is shown to be as, if not more effective than academic achievement in helping youth achieve success in school, the workplace, and beyond. I think it's a, a hidden gem that all parents should learn about and help their kids um, understand. And social emotional learning skills are things that um, are skills that we use every day. We probably don't realize it. There are things like empathy and compassion, grit and perseverance, teamwork and conflict resolution. And these are all things that can be taught.
Yeah, and of course, if, if parents aren't the ones helping to have those conversations, then that dialogue is going to come from somewhere else. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a good way to control that message. Well, Laura, thank you so yes. much for joining us. And uh, we're going to put a link to some of those resources that we talked about here, uh, along with more findings from this survey from the Allstate Foundation at coin.com. Have a good one. Great. Thank you so much.